Hey, how are you? Very well, James. Good to see you. Good to see you. Long thanks time. For, um, thanks for starting early. So let's, um, let's uh, talk a little bit about 19 in general. Like what you, what's your thoughts about 19 now after um, you know, it was bottled? Now, I think the, the 19s, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a vintage. I think it's one of the most precise vintages we ever uh, made. Uh, for, for different reasons. The first reason is that we really took a very different approach to our, our, our work and preparation in the vineyards. Uh, I think we never produced as juicy Merlots as we ever did, as accomplished on a whole. And um, one very uh, important element was is that we started to, to harvest our vineyards, so not just by terroir, but also by uh, age, meaning that we we go through the same parcel in different sequences. Uh, so up to three times to, so we know we marked all the, the, the different age of the vines in the parcel and then go through them and measuring also their maturity on the age. And that gave us so much more precision in the definition of the tenants. And, uh, and that's why you feel you have this very, I think, uh, uh, nice, uh, uh, very, a very generous um, uh, personality, but yet again, those very fine tenants will give the enormous amount of energy, precision, and also indirectly accessibility. Uh, we mm -hmm. don't have to wait for, for 10 years anymore to, 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 uh, to make those wines uh, come in, into the glass. Uh, there's really because of that preci precision that we really are able to to get much more enjoyment out of them, also in the in the younger uh, younger stage. Uh, it's cool that you guys are doing that. And what do you think it did for you with 19? Because for example, uh, you had the rain in um, the end of July, and then you had the rain uh, also the end of September. Did did it did that help you? Like how did it? Because your wines. Had no, like you were right, the tannins were really beautifully ripe. There was no sense of um, dilution or anything. What did it do for you no. in that sort of weather? I think we're coming to an, an, a climate where we have more extremes. Uh, when we have yeah. rain, it comes a lot. When we have droughts, it, it can, can stick for a long while. And that's why all the work in the vineyards becomes really essential. Since uh, numerous of years, we started to really to create a kind of uh, national, uh, a, a kind of canopy uh, uh, management where we, we, we started to, uh, to, to bring the vegetation a little bit lower. Uh, so especially on the Merlot, to have a little bit less of evaporation of, uh, uh, of, of, uh, of, of humidity through its, through its leafage. And, uh, and also have a kind of cushion of, uh, of vegetation on the, on the soil. So you will not find our vineyards anymore to be spotless, but it really helps also to have a little bit of cover that just is what we, we plant this actually in spring. And then at a certain stage, we just roll it over, we break it, but we leave it on the, 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 uh, on the ground. And this gives like an, an isolation factor between the different extremes in temperature. And because we still have a very good draining uh, soil, mostly is, of course, gravel. Uh, some, some, uh, also, we have some clay, of course, but, and sand. And if we have extremes rainfall, this uh, is very well uh, evacuated. Uh, yeah. And therefore, I think in the 19 you feel a, an, an, a personality was really spot on. There's not, there is a lot of power, but it grows through uh, yeah. with the wine, in, in the, especially when you come to the, 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 the after palate. It's a wine that has this very energetic approach to it with the tenants being so soft and succulent, but really giving a huge drive into the, into the wine. And this is all just because of balance. And, I always very much believe it's, it's, you know, when you try to make a wine, uh, you come to a certain stage that, yeah, it's, it's, it's good. But when a wine is all carried by balance, you get the luxury to have one mm. plus one makes three. And that is just because of the balance. 
And, uh, and yeah. I really think we accomplished this in, the, in the, 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 when we had the row of the 18, 19, 20, what are really three uh, fantastic vintages. They all carry their specific personality, but the, the free wines are really exceptional. And the 19 is a little bit more, the, I would say a little bit more the uh, kind of Burgundian style because it's so cisle, uh, as they say in, uh, yeah. uh, in, in France, what, what is really, uh, what is fantastic. It's really very nice. And what do you, do you how do you find it compared to uh, 18? How, how do you describe it? How is it different? Well, so the 18 is also, I, I love that vintage for it's, in a way, it's an uh, uh, enormous amount of generosity. There's more exuberance in the 18. Therefore, you have more direct mouthful in the beginning of the palate. Mm -hmm. uh, what gives a, a lot of impression and it gives this very, uh, I would say, more creamy perception, uh, not lacking any uh, acidity at all. Uh, where the 19 is a little bit more restrained in the beginning of the palate, but has this enormous buildup uh, when the wine goes, goes through. And that's, that's it's wonderful. So it's more timid, but then when it starts to reveal itself, you just see it continues forever and builds up intensity through, uh, through the palate. Uh, I, so I think it's interesting that how you talk about how the wines are so attractive where they're young and some people mistakenly think that that's not a good sign. And like, what do you tell people? Do you know what I'm saying? They're like, Oh, if it's so nice now, how is it going to age? This is a rhetorical question because of course I have my own ideas on that, but I, I wanted to hear your ideas. Now it, 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 I think it's, uh, uh, it it's very much relates to the, the old perception of winemaking uh, when people say that uh, if, you, if it becomes so uh, tentacle, uh, the only thing what you can say is, yeah, you have to wait, you have to wait, you have to wait. Um, it's, it's, I always take an, an, an a comparison with when you talk about the, the feel of a wine in your mouth and you want to put it into something which you can easily reveal to you, put it to pixels. The yeah. tenons are like pixels. It's not about the, when you look at a television, it's not about the color, it's about the definition. It's the amount of pixels will create an image. And, and I think you very much uh, see that in those. Those, those, those great vintages of Bordeaux is that we're able to get those tenons so refined, so precise, mm, especially in right. the 19th vintage, would give a great accessibility. Remember when you started with the 82 vintage? 82, yeah, exactly. It's the, it's the exact example where the more yeah. historical palettes say, oh, this is a wine that's not going to last. And this is yeah. a wine where a lot of even vintners said, 10, 15 years, I remember, yeah. Uh, my my uh, great or the great uh, grandfather from Veronique saying the 82s we have to drink them. This was 20 years ago, and yeah. they said no, you have to drink them. You have to drink them. They're so good, and still you taste them today. They're still They're bloody incredible. good, but they were good from the beginning till the end. I totally yeah. agree, and even like they they said 59 was the same, but um, 82 that's the same. 90 was a bit like that. So I think that, and we're not saying that the 2019 is on the level of legendary vintage like 82, but it has like the great vintages of Bordeaux are actually those that you drink, you can drink young. Like a, a recent one would have been 15. 2015s are like that. I just drank yeah. your 15 the other day. That's so delicious. good. Yeah. It's like, yeah. And what's wrong with that? Like we're drinking wine. Duh. It's it's I, I completely agree with you. We don't have to to wait for another ten years. You can, uh, especially the fifteen, also has this more correlation to the eighteen. Also, this very creamy uh, yeah. uh, uh, roundness to its to its personality, and especially now we're drinking a lot of uh, second wines of the fifteen. What are really yeah. really the Sirene de Giscourt is uh, is is fantastic. Uh, 